another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to install Logstash on your Ubuntu 20.0 machine. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, you can uh, go ahead and watch the, uh, those videos in which I covered how to install Elasticsearch and Kibana on your Ubuntu 20.04. So uh, after that, you can go ahead and watch this video. So uh, the first thing that you need is you will need to add some uh, add the repository uh, into your Ubuntu machine and then sources and then uh, also add the JPG key for the repository in your Linux box so that you can access uh, access all the packages on that repository. So I have already added them. Uh, the commands will be in the description so you can follow. So I'm I'm just going to install Logstash. So uh, how to do that is just type all you need to install Open JDK. So just type app install Open JDK eight dash jre and hit enter and it is going to install Java on your server so that uh, Logstash can work properly. Just give it a setting, uh, second till it installs and configures everything on your system. So I am going to pause uh, for now and we'll be back once the pro once the processing has been done. I have installed Java. What we need to do is we need to install Logstash. So just copy this command and paste it over here and hit enter. And now it is going to install. Logstash version 7.7.1. 7 so just wait for the installation process to complete. Okay, now it is asking us that do you want to uh, edit any configuration within the file? So we are not going to do any of this uh, now. And let the process complete. And now the Logstash has been successfully installed. Just to verify if it has been installed, just go to etc Logstash and And over here you can see that Logstash has been installed. We now need to reload our services daemon so that it identifies the command. So just do system CTL. DAEM1 reload and hit enter and it is going to reload the all new scripts. And just now what you need to do is you need to enable Logstash. So system CTL. Enable Logstash and hit enter. And now uh, our Logstash service will run whenever uh, our system restarts. So now you can go ahead and see the status of your Logstash service. So just type system CTL. Status. Hit enter and it is showing that it is inactive, it hasn't been enabled. Uh, started yet so just start your lost test service to get it working and now if you check the status it will show you that it, uh, your lost test service is running and now you can use Logstash to push data into your Elasticsearch instance so that's it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below and thanks for watching